Hello everybody, welcome back to my game of right? Ace Attempt to play through. Where last time, I'm not entirely sure what happened, I think we finished off the first day in terms of the trial. So it's a little bit. Hey, what you doing? Are you being that bastard that hasn't subscribed yet? Well, why don't you join one of us that have subscribed? As well as that, you might as well tune down to the description down below where I have a new subreddit called uh, r slash realmhq. Other than that, back to your regularly scheduled program. February 23rd, 2.15 p.m. Rain Logs is... We don't have Maya, we have Emma. It's a been a bit since I recorded last. Got me a little bit of slack. Anyway. Uh, Mr. Wright. <clears throat> Sorry. Mr. Wright? So, uh, what's going on with the case anyway? I'm a little confused. Ah, uh, well, uh, <laughs> let's see. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> the victim, Detective Dead Man. <laughs> Detective uh, Bruce Goodman stabbed to death after 5 p.m. on the 21st. He died in the prosecution parking lot and the police department's office. Uh, what's this in the evidence room part? The prosecution office and the police department were 30 minutes apart by car. Yeah, well, that's what we're gonna find out, or try it to at least. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, she's in good spirits, but I'm not sure she's gonna be much help with this. Don't be so sure, Mr. Wright. Huh? Look, we're in this together, right? Did you just fucking read my brain? I'll prove that these uh, thick rimmed glasses of mine aren't just for show. I didn't say shit. Let's go. Science awaits. Us. Oh, you know what's fun? Um, so... I just, like, got... Oh, I okay, I think it was the day before I had looked at possibly uh, screwing around the captioning. The videos, like, putting little captions. The problem is... I don't entirely know how to edit the captions after they transcribe it, nor do I want to for some of them. Because <laughs> there's some really funny uh, things, and I really want it just to be like kind of a staple of the channel that the captions presented are wrong. <laughs> and like, majority of the time it's alright, and then you get like, instead of in Mr. Edgeworth's trial, uh, which ends, uh, tomorrow, then you get, or which start, which starts tomorrow, and so you get in Dad's trial, <laughs> which ends today, <laughs> just stupid stuff like that, but yeah, February 23rd, prosecutor's office, underground parking lot. You know, I really don't think we should worry about the police department. What are you talking about? There's gonna be some clue there. There wasn't even a body found there, who cares? No, fuck it, if it's Bruce Goodman, it's most likely he died there and got moved. I don't think he got murdered here, I, got, I think he got moved here. It was only our victim who was killed in their evidence from him, no biggie. Besides, my sister would never do such thing, I know it. Yeah, well that's how we can attempt to prove it. By going over to the fucking thing and being like, Hey, she was over here at 515, but the guy apparently died at 515 in both places. That's quite a fucking... Hmm. Uh. That oil drum, was it empty? The oil drum kicked over by the chairs was brimming with wine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she was covering up because she was being blackmailed. My sister erasing evidence of the crime scene? Never! 
Oh, she's getting blackmailed. Even though she says uh, they don't get along, Grandma really likes her sister. It's not at all. It's just... I didn't even say anything! What the fuck are you doing? We're both professionals and that we would be do. I trust her. Big words for a high school student. Well, whether there's blood on the floor or not, the water in the oil drum is washed all away. <laughs> Ignore the strength of my science, it's your own peril, Mr. Wright. Luminol! What? What you want about? This situation calls for one thing, and that's luminol testing fluid. Luminol? Don't spray that all over me! <laughs> Blood is sticky stuff, you know? You can't just wash it away with a little water. Even if you can't see it, it's still there. But wouldn't the police have already done those tests? It is the police department. Never trust anyone's eyes but your own, Mr. Ray. Just give it a spritz. Me? Why the fuck do I have to do it? I'm a minor. I can't even drink yet. What does that have to do with anything? Aren't you training to become a fucking friend? Fuck me. We're testing blood stains with this stuff, not drinking it. If you're gonna go on about blood path borne pathogen, then we both need to fucking throw gloves on. But okay. Here, look, I'll lend you these glasses. Huh? Get an extra pair of these? The fuck? Test for the blood reaction, just spray the luminol on. Like this, see? Press enter to spray it on. Okay? A bunch of blood spray. Get over here. Ooh. Examine the toilet. Can I see? I can see your eyes shining behind those glasses. So this is a blood stain. Uh, so, uh, Emma, you're shaking. This is just this is my first time seeing real blood. Scientific investigation in action. Okay, we definitely know this is a blood stain. But doesn't something strike you on, scientifically speaking? There's not a lot of it. It's not about this, scientifically. The amount of blood. The perpetrator and Detective Goodman fought here, right? Don't you think there'd be a little bit more blood? I definitely think so. I mean, the blood on the soul is pick and shoot. It is pretty strange. If they fought here, there'd have to be a lot more blood than this. Uh, hey, Mr. Wright? I'm gonna mark this on the floor plan where we find the uh, blood stain, okay? Okay. Evidence added to the court. See, I am pretty handy to have around, right? Uh, yeah, and this stuff's pretty handy too. Let's see if that's my allowance to buy that. Luminol testing received from a very proud looking Emma Scott. It's a uh, illusion used for scientific investigation. Find blood traces. Spray. The. I can't be sh uh, sure that the police will reveal all, all their evidence in court. Sometimes they fail to mention evidence that doesn't fit with their view of the case. Huh, I wonder if that's fucking something we've encountered. Okay, then let's drag it. That hidden evidence under the light of day. Yeah. This is a random bestiary crime now, doesn't it? I thought it was what we were doing. Isn't the whole shtick that your sister's being accused of murder? I guess I should give this a spray on anything suspicious. Ha! I wonder how that fluid of yours react to a nice deli box. Miss Star, you only trust your own eyes. Not bad, you two. Here, have bullshit. <laughs> Literally, this day old deli box is on the house. I don't think I want day old sand, uh, fish. Sorry, it's just that kind of leaf. kind of lead and it doesn't really get my mouth on it. Or that kind of lead and doesn't get my mouth on it. certainly put me on a tight spot tonight. My apologies, Miss Star, but 
No, no, it's okay. Where's my Oh, we know. <laughs> Thank goodness, everything from that security room right there. So, I'm afraid that wouldn't sound convincing enough. I was wrong to think that. I'm sorry. Sir, you lied on the witness stand. That's unforgivable. That's called being a at court. Little girl, don't forget what's important. Yeah, your bitch ass lied on Stan. You should be in jail. Even the uh, place I witnessed the events was different. I still saw what I saw. What? You saw somebody discover a dead body. I saw a chief prosecutor stab a man for blood. Your testimony still said. Oh, that's why. Fucking, okay, I get it. So she didn't just injure herself. Cause fucking look, the detective ain't moving shit. I get it. Okay. Current there and what the hell happened? Detective Goodman was killed over in the police evidence room. Moved uh, when Edgeworth was returning from receiving his stupid trophy. Lana got called, got blackmailed into essentially taking the taking the bullet and was uh, instructed to go stab Goodman. When she stabbed Goodman it didn't leave any blood so she uh, went ahead and cut herself so that there would be some blood on the uh, thing and then she washed it away. Ah. So the guy really was stabbed in cold blood because his blood was just so gone that it literally didn't have any heat to it. I swear it was on my on my honor. As a detective, she stabbed Goodman. Yeah, again, she did it to fucking take the blame. I know this photograph is something important to tell us, but why? Like my lunches. Coughed it up. They confess. Oh. I thought you were meaning something else. When you got the fucking shirt patches, man. They babbled like babies. You know. I may seem like a demon sometimes, but I can be a demon too. Or like a suck at this. I wouldn't doubt it. Okay, I dragged the dirt out of, their <clears throat> out of the mouths of suspect after suspect. And for a long, they called me the Bitch Queen. That's what I meant. Oh, and here I thought somebody had just gotten food poisoning from the lunches. I mean, you are serving day old deli. And you were let go as fired? I felt that I found my dream job when I became an investigator. And if these prim and proper prosecutors hadn't let me go, I'd still be one here. I still question why the fuck they would have any uh, ability to actually, like, can anyone. It would seem, honestly, in ill, uh, in, what was it? In bad taste. Because if a prosecutor get fucking Edgeworth. He's cut the salary of fucking, um, Gumshoe so many times just because the cases keep going against him. When you think I, fucking because I'm another attorney, that I would possibly... nine? Wait, she doesn't. Yep. So... So what the fuck was SL9? 
I know Marshall's got to have something to do with it. It would explain why the fuck he was thrown on as the fucking hand holder of the case, even though he's not a detective. <laughs> oh. This must be blood from Lana. Lana. Oh, my sister is in the murder. But she did call you, didn't she? The time of the crime? And her right hand is bandaged. Hey, just whose side are you on? This has nothing to do with taking sides. So this means that Lana's hand had blood on it. This just keeps getting worse. even busier here today than it was yesterday. The detectives are running around so fast they're blurry. I suppose it makes sense the detective did get healed here after all. So the evidence room, the scene of the crime. According to the pamphlet we got from the front desk, here it is. It's like a cat in a moving park. A oh, real crime scene. Let's go take a look. I thought we were just at one. Blue Badger is still uh, writhing around today. <laughs> Let's give him the benefit of the doubt and say he's dancing. Speaking of dancing, the whole police department has been dancing around like crazy since yesterday. Can I take out his batteries? I just can't help but feel he's gonna do something. Naughty? What the fuck do you mean? He's not gonna bash somebody's head in with a fucking... <laughs> He's not even fucking fully 3D. He would fucking... Get... Like, fucking, it would be... He would be more liable to get a paper cut than actually being bashed by him. So what are they saying now? Look, patrolman... You idiot! What are you thinking? Where's your head? Uh, uh, sir, it's right here, sir. Yeah, I guess he wasn't saluting. He was showing the detective where his head is. They make a good... Ah, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Right, he's in there. Look pretty busy. Just imagine, right now, behind those doors, a police drama is in action. Some of the thought fails to excite me. I mean, there's the fact that there's a fucking death. You know, there's a. F <laughs> Gotta spit the police. Damn it. Okay. Ooh, guard station. Wait, who the fuck's place is this? I guess this is Marshall's. What's with the decor of this place? It's very eccentric. to the pamphlet. This is the guard uh, station for the evidence room. Fucking hell, they do not fucking... Who the fuck has a clothes hanger on fucking right in front of shit? So beyond that door is the evidence room? The scene of the crane. Is there a fucking lasso trap? <laughs> oh 
Oh, that's funny. She seems that way. Oh, uh, uh. What's wrong? It's the cacti. They're so prickly, so imposing, it's hard to think straight. What? You can't handle the cacti. Stay out of the desert. I'm sorry, that just reminded me of the stupid, uh, uh, uh anything's a dildo if you're brave enough. I'm hoping that's not exactly what that's insinuating for her. What I want to know is if the, this is a guard station, where's the guard? Because why the fuck does it matter that there's a cacti? <sighs> she looks at the cacti, she's like, Oh, well, shit, there's another uh, lady on my hands. Fucking, I'll drag her to the evidence. <laughs> this is a guard station, where's the guard? I have a feeling. Uh, I already know. I already, I know who he is already. Yeah, Marshall. All right. Well, the cacti. What the fuck is your problem? Yikes! These sure are prickly. They must be a real deal. I would think that's just one. The one big one would be as efficient. These cacti are a lot like my sister, actually. <sighs> How so? They don't need much attention and can poke you real bad, but in the end, they're just growing. In case in a cold, rigid spine, with spikes pointing in every direction. Just like her. I'm not sure I see the resemblance, to be honest. It's more of an attitude thing than the official format. I don't even mean that. She seems more like she's protecting you than anything. But okay. Alright, well here's the cacti. Here's Marshall shit. It's a security guard uniform hanging here. It looks more like a costume than a uniform, honestly. A leather jacket, leather pants, a leather... What's that call again? A ponchi, a ponchi, a pinchy? I know, a poochy! It's a poncho. Hmm, May, uh, maybe that wasn't it. It's a poncho, but I think I'll keep that information to myself for the time being. It's a poochie! Poochie, poochie, poochie. Yeah, there's a lot of liquor for a uh, police station. Looks like there's a video feed from the evidence room here. There's a light blinking below the monitor. It says recording. I bet we could use this computer to check on who went in and out of there. It was me, Van <laughs> Wait, that's a good question. Why the fuck did... When did you fucking get here? We've been to the fucking evidence room. Texas. You know, they shoot you in Texas for something like that. The evidence room is beyond that door. Let's just walk in. It won't open. That'd be open? I think we need someone's permission to go in there. Wait, do we. Are we actually gonna use Goodman's card? Look on the floor, a lasso. Hmm, looks like a setup to a uh, trap. Something. A trap here? Wait, I know. Maybe someone was trying to catch a wild bull in here. But the lasso missed. Actually, that might more insinuate uh fuck that actually might insinuate uh, Goodman a, or fucking Marshall a lot more <laughs> sure have an active imagination yeah that's kind of really bad for him <laughs> okay Okay, so we haven't... Have we seen the... I have no reason to believe that there are two evidence rooms. Yeah, I think... Huh? 
Okay, I don't understand that. Didn't we fucking inv Okay, give me a minute. <laughs> I need to go uh, look at something uh, in the other videos. I don't know. Sir. I think, um. Hello, everybody. No. Yeah, okay. Um. Oh, it's the record room, not the evidence locker. Okay, that makes sense. Well, in the meantime, that's a good point to end off the video. Thank you guys for tuning in all that jazz. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and let's see the video. Have a great day.